The Northwest Florida Championship Rodeo is wrapping up night one in Bonifay. The annual event turns 80 this year. News 13's Amy Diaz was at the rodeo tonight. She's live in our studios now. And Amy, what events did they have? There was plenty to see and do tonight at the rodeo, but it was kids night, so the festivities were centered around the little ones. Some held on tight. Others not so much at the Bonifay Rodeo. From mutton busting to stick pony races, there was something for every age group Thursday night. Event attendees came from different cities, states, and even from different countries. One man traveled over 20 hours from Kenya, Africa to come experience the rodeo for himself. There is no rodeo. There is no rodeo in Africa. We don't have horses, although we have cows and we have bulls, but no one rides on bulls. So Actually, that part is amazing for me. Absolutely. This is the best part of well, being here in the United States is coming here for rodeo. <laughs> if you missed your first chance to be here with Buddy the Bull, don't worry. There are two more nights left of the 80th Northwest Florida Championship Rodeo. Event organizers say there's plenty of new things coming to the rodeo in the next two days. We have Broken Spoke, which is uh, the Clydesdales. It's a coach. Uh, they actually, they... Uh, they pulled in earlier this week, and uh, they have a, a, a colt named Denver. So tonight, when people are, are watching the, the Clydesdales come, come out, they're also going to have a little pony named Denver that's going to be trotting alongside of them. We also have uh, John Harrison, the famous clown, and then, of course, Buddy the Bull. Uh, he, he is a very, he's a very big draw. They ended the night with the main rodeo event. The top participants in the mutton busting will come back on Saturday for the final round of the competition. The winners in each age group for the stick pony races received medals for their participation. The rodeo will host Patriot Night on Saturday. They're asking the public to wear red, white, and blue in support of the men and women in uniform. They will also have a parade tomorrow on Highway 79 starting at 1 p.m. Now, Amy, will that be the only chance to catch the parade? Nope. They'll also have one on the same parade on Saturday.